When we look closer, we discover that atoms mainly consist of empty space. The electrons orbit a nucleus, which only makes up a hundred thousandth of the atom. Once again, we find tiny fragments of matter floating in a vast vacuum. He realized that everything was made up of tiny pieces of energy and matter floating in space. And I think that is what he was trying to reflect in these pictures. All your wonderful jokes that we know about taxi cabs with the rain inside and so on, you're going to go on with those jokes? Uh, yeah, this corresponds to the first period of my life. Uh, the moment of myself is very big interest in uh, psychoanalysis, uh, coming to London for me to Dr. Freud. Mm. But now, my interest is only about the tremendous progress of nuclear research mm. and nuclear physics. And so really, those, that represented a phase in your career, those jokes that we all knew about. And now you move on, and all your life will be to the rhythm of atomic explosion. Exactly. One new kind of uh, atomic and nuclear mysticism. Well, thank you very much. That's a fascinating phrase, nuclear mysticism. <laughs> During the 1950s, Dali continued painting the atomic equilibrium and fragmentation of matter. But his work increasingly incorporated elements drawn from religion. Within science, within Dali's uh, own uh, thinking, there is a fascination with uh, the unseen world, you might say. Uh, it, it seems to be an issue to do with um, what lies beyond, what lies beneath, what is unseen, what can we not grasp, what is intangible. All of these issues seem to take in a certain notion of religiosity. Yeah. 